Good morning, monkeys. Welcome to another episode of Lake George Amusement Park. Wow, here we are back. We made it to episode two. Who would have thought, right? <laughs> my track record, uh, with my track record, I should say. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if I didn't. No, I'm kidding. Uh, so welcome to episode two. I hope you guys all enjoyed episode one. Uh, welcome to you guys who are new subscribers. So many new subscribers after this last episode. Um, really, really thankful for that. You guys are awesome. Thanks so much for joining. Definitely spread the word. Tell your friends about me. You know, I'm, I'm here to stay. I've got this um, uh, series going. I may possibly start another one. I've done so much work in the past couple days on the park file. Um, I've got... Wow, I've got three or four months worth of videos already cut um, for a weekly show. So I definitely have some time to play around with possibly another series. Uh, so we're going to see what happens there. It's a potential. Potential. But um, yeah, so welcome to all you new subs. And uh, for those of you that have been with us and have come back to see more and hear more, uh, well, welcome back. Thanks so much for being loyal and faithful and, and enjoying my channel. I hope you guys continue to enjoy. So... Um, what are we going to talk about today? Well, we are finishing up our entrance. See, we already got a lot, got a lot done here as I was rambling on. Uh, we're going to be working on the roof structure here for these four towers, as well as expanding on the entryway structure. Now, it was a lot to kind of figure this out, you know, um, and we'll get into logistics as the video unfolds. We'll kind of see the direction we take here. But definitely a lot to talk about with this one uh this is my first time doing a tiled four-sided angled roof yes try saying that three times fast uh it was interesting it was it was definitely an interesting first try uh am i 100 percent pleased with it no i may go back and, and change it i've been watching obviously tons of videos you know with sylv and mike sheets and delady Designer and and Rudy and wow, who else? Uh, John uh, Mass Bandit, and then obviously my countless uh, people in the discords that I'm in. I'm just watching their stuff, kind of how they do stuff. I'm definitely gonna go back, I think, and change this. But just from this series alone, I've already I already feel like I've grown quite a bit in my style and the way that I build, you know, and kind of what I'm going after for final product or end product. And I definitely think I fall in the realm of ultra realistic, ultra, ultra realistic uh, theming and, and, and design for my parks in this game. I, it's it's a preference, you know, I'm, I'm a roller coaster junkie. If you haven't seen any of the other stuff on my channel, I've got, you know, vlogs and, and coaster videos. Definitely gotta update some of those. More of those to come, by the way. I've got some stuff on, uh, file that I need to actually cut but that being said you know I definitely come from a, a background of loving uh, theme parks and I felt very lucky I felt very lucky to be able to create this ultra realistic kind of vibe and where I am now with the park versus what you're seeing on this video or leaps and bounds right but really excited to, to kind of go the direction that I'm going love 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 this fantastic uh, platform to play on. I can be honest with you, you, you hear so many people have complained about quite a few things in this game. Uh, the path is definitely an opportunity. There's also, or the pathing tool is definitely an opportunity. There's also some minor opportunities, I think, with, with AI in the game. But uh, overall, I think it's a, it's a really good platform uh, to be able to portray a theme park and create a theme park. You know, when you get into that creative groove, as you saw in my first episode, it's really not about kind of doing one specific thing for a whole episode. It's wherever the creative flow takes me. And that's what you guys are seeing. So this is definitely a long haul series, right? Being able to watch it weeks on end uh, and, and see the growth and development of this park. You know, there's no definitive goal for episode for each episode and i think that's what i'm going to like about doing this series was the last one i felt very tied into uh kind of what i was doing if you haven't seen it yet monkey landia uh i'll put a link up top um on top of the screen there for monkey landia 
that was definitely a very, okay, we're going to do this today. We're going to do this today, right? Type of series. Whereas this series, it's going to be very, very organic, very free flowing. Uh, and as I ramble on, there we are. We're done with our first spire almost. Uh, definitely an interesting process. Uh, I like the way it came out. I'm not in love with it though. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, I appreciate it. Throw them down in the comments below. That'd be awesome. Um, but yeah, so where was I going with that tangent? See, so many tangents. But yeah, so so the creative process and kind of going going with the flow. So with this particular episode, we're gonna we're gonna finish up this structure. We're getting out of four spires up. We're going to build out the bones of this building and kind of get a, uh, the vibe for what the entrance is going to look like. And you've seen pictures of it, obviously, at this point, or video from the, the opening reel and kind of what the end product is going to look like. But how we get there is the question. All right, and that's what this video is about. All right. So one thing I, I wanted to bring up that I've gotten a lot of comments on over the past couple couple days uh since the first video everybody's lake george amusement park are you talking about uh darien lake no i'm not talking about darien lake i apologize for the confusion i didn't put two and two together i should have uh put two and two together i do love darien lake it's a great park but lake george lake george amusement park where did i come up with this well for, uh, let's see if you can connect the dots here my first park was monkey landia right so monkey landia i'm all about monkeys Curious George's monkey. Um, <laughs> so I came up with the idea of Lake George, Lake Curious George Amusement Park. Yes, that is correct. This is named after a monkey. Uh, so sorry for all you guys who thought this was going to be a video about Darien Lake or recreation. I or recreation. I am not. I'm not in the recreation vibe just yet. I'm definitely feeling the itch though. Uh, Definitely feeling it, not gonna lie. But I'm not in the recreation vibe yet or in the recre recreation mode. I'm more in the creative side of it. I wanna expand and just grow and kind of see where this this park or any park grows organically. But yeah, it's the Lake George Amusement Park. That's where it came from. Um, park origin is another question that I got. You know, what what, what is the, the history of your park? Are you gonna do a lore? You know, as coined the phrase by Mr. Mike Sheets and Mass Bandit. And uh, the lore is this park was built in 1980. That's my birthday. Shh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm that old. I'm that old. Uh, but yeah, so, so this park established in 1980. The coaster was there. And that's how I'm going to go with this one, right? The coaster was there already. The coaster was a lakeside coaster, you know, very vintage. Um, and we'll get into the, the, the main coaster. Ah, did you see that? Ah, okay. So this is a thing. If anybody knows how to fix this, I would appreciate it. Cause I've already dismantled my entire computer and put it back together. And no idea why this is happening. Nvidia is pulling video from YouTube or whatever other platform I'm watching. And it can, it's not staying locked on my main screen. So for some reason I'm getting these flashes that you'll see will pop up of whatever else I'm watching while I build. I watch stuff while I build. I need to. It's it's a mind thing. Maybe I have ADD. Maybe I'm autistic. Who the heck knows, uh, to be honest. You no offense to anybody who has ADD or autistic, but I definitely have some type of some type of neurological disorder that requires me to have ambient music going on in the background while I build. It's just a thing. Um, yes, I have some type of neurological disorder, 100%. Uh, I'm just crazy. No. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So, so yeah, if you guys can tell me, tell me why it does that, I'd appreciate that and how to fix it because uh, editing them out and trying to find all of them is just a lot. Uh, all right, back to the video for a second here. So, <laughs> woo. Um, path cover. So this path cover, it, it does stay. It may disappear in a moment, but I just stick it underground. But this is how you create an organic plaza. Put down a path cover and then create a path underneath it. Call it a day. Don't, don't, don't break a sweat. It's too much, it's too much work to, to stress over. You know what I mean? The path tool, either get the path tool to work for you. Like I think I've mostly figured out for the most part or 
covered with path covers. Uh, it's super easy for the most part. <laughs> and you'll see how we do that throughout this series, which is pretty cool. So stay tuned. There's more to come. Uh, but back to Park Region. So the, the, the coaster, there's a main coaster. This park being designed around uh, or inspired by, heavily, heavily inspired by Canopy Lake in Salem, New Hampshire, right? We said that in the last episode. So with it being heavily inspired, what we're looking at right now is creating that same type of uh, vibe and energy, right? So we did that with this entrance. We're going to do a very, very close build of the Yankee Cannonball at Canopy Lake. We're also going to do the same coaster lineup at Canopy Lake. Right? With variation in theming, with variation in pathing, with variation in landscaping. I want it to feel a little bit more organic for what I'm building. Uh, sorry about that flash there. That was a new, uh, new segment of the video. But yeah, so, so the organicness of it all is what I'm going after. And kind of getting away from the recreation. I want to pull that same vibe of Canopy Lake and have that vibe be emulated through this park, but in the same breath, I don't want to copy that park 100%. I really love the view from the entrance across the parking lot to the Yankee Cannonball. If you've never seen that, I will throw that down in the link. Uh, I'll throw a picture down right here, excuse me. Uh, it's just, it's a stunning look. It's a stunning view, you know, and, and, and it's so America, you know, so mom and pop amusement park, you know, it's literally parking lot, main entrance, parking lot, coaster, you know, it's, it's just, there's something about it that gives you this quaint feeling, which I dig. I really dig. Um, so yeah, as we're throwing up these the accents here. Now you'll see how I build. See, I see how organic it is. It's very free flowing, right? I kind of just do or go where the vibe takes me. Where is the energy taking me, right? So I don't build a structure first and then detail on top of the structure. I build the structure in increments and I detail as I go. So I create a full picture in increments, moving from one side of the structure to another or around the structure or over the structure. However, you want to explain it uh, but again it's a very organic build it's not uh, systematic or methodical by any means uh, and I think that's what I love about this game you could I mean there really are countless ways that you can build in this game but the organicness uh, and, and individuality that you can create stuff that fits your vibe and your energy makes this game so amazing and that was my that was my aggressive plug for planet coaster hope you enjoyed that plug kids all right what are we doing now so oh this is the fun part um we've got these these this is a canopy up there goes canopy lake um and that was princess diana <laughs> i was watching the crown if you've not seen the crown you have to watch the crown really really good show um really good really good show uh <laughs> but yeah you're gonna see a lot of that by the way it's it's gonna drive me fr the frustration level is gonna be out of control i tried to edit out of all of the video but i gotta be honest with you there are so many like this particular video is about 50 or 60 segments of video because i kept having to clip out those moments of flashing screen from like hulu or youtube or whatever i'm watching and mind you i edited 12 videos right and it just made the process so long it took me two days to edit the 12 videos and i was just like oh my god this is torture you know i just want to hit speed times 12 and go you know but uh yeah so back to this canopy so we're building out this canopy this canopy is going to house security All right so we've got the first row of canopies uh first row of the overhang or canopy or roof or whatever you want to call it those are the ticket booths and then this is going to be, oops, sorry about the mic. This is going to be for where security is going to be housed. We housed inside of these fun little, or underneath this fun little uh, canopy set up here. So our side building. So, so one thing about Canopy Lake that I couldn't do here was the rounded. I mean, I could have done it, right? But it, I've already expended 10,000 pieces alone just on the shingles. 
you know, so I didn't want to absolutely destroy piece count. So what I decided to go with is a square facade uh, here at, on these um, appendages that come out of the main entrance. And I think, I think, again, you know, you've seen the video. I like the end product. You know, I think it came out well. And it, it gives the same type of vibe and energy that we're going after. So I'm, I'm cool with it. And creating variation was another thing I was trying to graphic to. So, so to this day, you see with those two back appendages come out, you get this overhang. In real life, if I'm correct, one is a food and food stall some type of food installation and one of them is a souvenir installation or stall or whatever with like canopy lake tie-dye sweaters and it's some really cool stuff of it but uh yeah so so to this day i still haven't filled this out because i haven't built that main street of the park yet right so once i build out that main street and kind of figure out where i want to put what i'm then going to figure out what's going to go in those two stalls but these square edges or these square facades, I think work out really well. It gives me really nice angles to work with overall and um, created quite a conundrum for me to figure out. I mean, it, it, this is, Planet Coaster is a giant puzzle, right? You've got all these pieces, you've got all these different things uh, that you need to create with, or you have to create with, but you've got to, you got to figure out how to interpret those pieces into IRL looking structures or, or, or theming or nature or nature or whatever you want to call it. Right? So what we're looking at here is basically a giant puzzle. Now, for those of you that don't know, I'm a huge puzzle guy. I love puzzles. I'm into puzzle boxes. Um, I've actually just recently played uh, Box One by Neil Patrick Harris. You can only get it at Target or on eBay. Amazon has people reselling them for like $150, $200 a game. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. It's awesome. Super fun. But it, but I love puzzles. So that's what this game is. If you think about it, if you love strategy games, you're into RPGs, um, sim games are kind of the same thing, right? You're, you're dealt out a series of, of challenges that you need to complete or you need to uh, fulfill. And that's what this type of a building game is. You're giving yourself the challenge. You're creating the challenge for yourself. You're saying, okay, how can I take this and make it that, right? And that's the, that's the whole ideology of this game. And that's why I love this game because I love creating puzzles for myself. I love being able to give myself challenges and, and and that's what this is i mean this roof was a challenge trying to figure out how to connect them all together right and then what do you do with these large gaps that are in the roof um trying to figure out which which pieces fit with what i mean it's a big puzzle and that's what i love 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 about this game so now next up what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the trim work trim work is everything and i mentioned this in the last video trim work is so important because it really does elevate the overall look and feel of your structure or of your build, right? So that's what we're going after here. We just did the roof roof trim work there, and now we're going to do trim work all the way around. Now, I'm going to save you the seven minutes of time lapse it took me to wrap this all the way around the structure, not only with this piece, but then with the additional trim piece that I put on. So uh, it's not seven minutes. It's only about a minute and a half. Uh, but yes, it's a lot of trim work and it goes all the way around, but, uh, yeah, no, what it does is it helps, it helps solidify and, and, and put that fine detail on your bill, you know, and these are the simple window pieces, just like we did on the tower, just like we did, you know, in the front facade. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's overall, I think it has a really great vibe to it. And uh, I saved you from having to watch me do it, basically. So you know, send me your awards now. Thank you. You know, I'd in the comments below, I'd like a ton of thank yous. <laughs> uh, I find myself funny a lot. So if you don't find me funny, comment below. Let me know how not funny I am. <laughs> All right, here we are wrapping up the video, guys. Thanks so much for joining us. If you're new to the channel, awesome. If you haven't joined or if you're just watching for the first time, don't forget to hit subscribe below. Thanks so much and catch you guys next time. 
Ciao.